Welcome back to the Learn Dash Bootcamp. User registration or making the course free but requiring registration isn't the only way you can limit access to your course in Learn Dash. Learn Dash also allows you to sell your courses and comes with built in PayPal support. To turn that on, let's go to settings, to PayPal settings, and here we can add in our PayPal address. We can also choose the currency, country, and PayPal URLs. These will all be filled in automatically, so we don't need to worry about changing them unless we have a specific reason to. We can also turn on the PayPal sandbox for testing. This will make it so that payments aren't actually processed and you can ensure everything is working as expected. Let's go ahead and save these settings and then we'll go over to our courses. We'll go to the Learn Dash Bootcamp course we created, back to the settings area, and down to access mode. There are two access modes that accept payment buy now, which is a single one time fee, and recurring, which means that the user will need to pay a recurring fee to gain access. We can set that billing cycle if we select recurring, and we can make it any number of days, weeks, months, or years. For this video, we're going to choose buy now, which is a one time fee, and we'll set the course at $99. If we visit our site while not logged in, you'll notice that we are not enrolled and that the register button from a previous video has been replaced with a take this course or a login link. You'll also notice that the middle section has a price now. If we click take this course, we'll be brought directly to PayPal where we can fill out the form, pay for the course, and register. But PayPal isn't the only payment gateway supported by LearnDash. If we go to the LearnDash add-ons area, we'll see add-ons for both to checkout and Stripe, giving us flexibility for the payment gateway that we want to use.